Today is the 31st of May 2021. I am in Boidu, east of Sierra Leone, Kailahun district, installing palm oil mill equipment in a mill house contacted Ross by Solidaridad to do. I'll take you through the sections of this mill house. The first is the palm oil section. There are three sections here. One is the palm oil section, and the other is the palm canal oil section. The third there is the briquette making section. Now, let me take you first through the palm oil processing section. What you see here is the thresher, the palm fruit thresher. After the realization of the bunches, they are threshed here. This is a design by Phoenix. It's not a replica of any machine in the world. It has a capacity of one and a half tons per hour. This is the palm fruit digester. It has capacity of one and a half tons per hour. Here is the press, palm canal, I mean, sorry, palm oil press. It has capacity of two tons of loose fruits per hour. Again, this is not a replica. It's a design done by Phoenix. It's not a replica of any machine in the world. It's our invention. Here are the sterilizers. There are three in this palm oil mill section. Each has a capacity, batch capacity of two tons of FFB, fresh fruit branches, two tons, and it will take each batch of two tons, two hours to sterilize. There are the clarifiers. We call them batch clarifiers. Halfway through the operation, the taps there you see are opened and the oil will flow to this trough. From this trough, the oil is pumped to the tank where the young man there is coming from. This is the palm oil section. The next is the palm canal oil section. The press uh, fruits you will have cakes combined with nuts and fiber. This is the machine that separates the nuts from the fiber. Again, it's a design done by Finnick. After separation, the nuts are put into this dryer. This dryer then dries them. Uh, in terms of fuel for the heating, biomass is used, preferably the empty bunches. This is the palm nut cracker has capacity of one and a half tons per hour. That's the separator. Separate 50%. The rest can be done by clay bath method. This is the palm canal oil press. Has capacity of 600 liters of palm canal oil in an eight hour day operation. Here are the retorts. These are the component that will carbonize the palm canal shells. After carbonization, they are taken to the hammer mill. The hammer mill has the function of crushing, pulverizing these carbonized shells. And thereafter, they are blended. The pulverized stuff is blended with 
binding agents such as uh, cassava starch, cassava flour. And then take into the extruder. The extruder has the function of shaping this pulverized blended stuff into hexagonal shapes from here. And then they are taken to the dryer for drying and then packaged. This is it.